If you've created a drawing using Google Drawings, you can add digital images to it in a few easy steps. Google lets you upload images from your computer, add them from a web location, or even do a web search to find some you'd like to use. Once you add an image to your drawing, you can change its size or move it around on the drawing canvas. You've almost finished a diagram that shows the landscape design for your new backyard. You just want to add an image to the diagram and format the background. The landscape diagram is almost complete, but it still needs a few finishing touches. There are red flowers drawn under the bushes, but it's a little difficult to tell what type of flower they represent. Let's add a photo to the diagram to help identify the flowers. We can add an image using the Insert menu or the Insert button on the toolbar. Let's use the Insert menu. Along the left side of the Insert Image dialog box are three choices for adding an image. We can upload one from the computer, search for one on the web using Google's search engine, or add one from a URL. The upload option is selected by default, but let's search for a photo on the web instead. Google Image Search uses Google's search engine to search specifically for images. We can simply type the keywords that describe the type of image we need, and Google will return a list of possible photos. Let's look for an image of a red flower. The insertion point is already in the search field, so we can just type the keywords. It's important to be aware that images on the Internet are not always free to use. Some authors want credit for using their images, and others want payment. Google tries to filter the images it finds to include those that are licensed for public use. Although Google shows a results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification message, it is always best to check the image's website to see how an image may be used. One of the pictures in the second row will work for us. Notice that the image has been added to the drawing canvas, but that it covers up much of the diagram. Let's resize it so that it fits the canvas better. All we have to do is click and drag the selection handles until the image is the right size. If we drag a side handle, the picture will not resize proportionally, so we need to use a corner handle of the image so that it will size evenly. We've added a box here to indicate the size the graphic should be. Now that our image is sized, we want to move it below the row of red flowers, but aligned with the other shapes along the left. We'll do this by clicking and dragging the image. We're almost finished with the diagram. Let's fill the entire background of the drawing with a color to represent the lawn of the yard. We can use a command on the Format menu to change the background. Notice that we can choose from a selection of colors, or we can choose to add a custom color. If we don't want a color, we can select the Transparent option, and then the drawing will not have a background. Let's use the color green. Notice that the grid lines on the canvas disappeared once we added the background color. Now the diagram truly represents a landscape design. 
As you can see, using Google Drawings is not only convenient, it is also easy and practical. The drawing is saved and stored online and ready to be shared with friends and family.